So some of you guys that follow me on Instagram will have probably have seen me using a backpack blower in the last couple of weeks. Um, I didn't buy one, this is borrowed from my brother-in-law. He, um, he acquired it a few years ago and um, the story behind it is he actually he got it from the dump, um, recycle centre, whatever you want to call it, um, but he didn't actually find it rummaging amongst the rubbish. He was at the dump once dumping some stuff off and a guy just turned up in a vehicle, dropped this off and drove away. And um, my brother-in-law thought, oh, that looks all right, I grabbed it and um, took it away, got it all checked out. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Um, and I say he used it primarily because his property where my brother-in-law lived um, was surrounded by trees. So he used it a lot of time in, in autumn. And since then he's actually moved. So. I had forgotten all about this and forgotten even that he even owned a backpack blower. So a few weeks ago I decided, uh, I remembered and gave him a call and said any chance I can borrow it for you because I was struggling and kept hearing all these great things about these backpack blowers so I thought I'll give it a go. It's quite an old one but um, I've been using it now for the last uh, three, four weeks now and I must be honest guys, I'm sold. It is brilliant. Now these leaves you see me blowing here um, have been down for quite a while. I hadn't actually been to this property for four weeks. So and, and before I got to this property today, the leaves had been fairly wet and it had been quite frosty on this morning. So a lot of the leaves were sort of frozen fairly hard to the ground. My little handheld blower would have really struggled on a day like today. I would have I would have spent a long time trying to blow them. I'd have probably ended up getting the rake out instead. So having this backpack blow up has been a real, real godsend to me. I say, I'm hoping that I can come to a deal with my brother-in-law and maybe he will sell me this one. If he doesn't sell it to me, it's not a problem. I'm not going to put him under any pressure, but I will probably end up getting myself one next year throughout the year. Um, I'm not going to buy one of the um, brand new models. I'll buy something similar to one like this. Um, but it has just opened my eyes to how much more powerful they are compared to my handheld. There are quite a few differences that I've noticed through using the backpack blower to my normal handheld blower. Um, obviously it's a lot more powerful than the handheld, it will move everything much more short, more easier. Um, I don't actually have to move all that much when I'm using it, I can stand in one place and I will blow the leaves at quite a, quite a distance. It's very comfortable and I mean I've had it on pretty much all day and you, you hardly notice I've you've been I hardly notice I've got it on. It's really comfortable. Um, also the petrol tank is a lot bigger than my handheld I can fill it up for and it will keep me going for quite a long long time. One thing I do keep doing with it which drives me slightly mad is I'll put it on my back and then realise I haven't started it so then I have to take it off and, and start it up. But that's just something me being daft. the positives with it though I still feel that next uh, summer and spring I'll probably end up still taking my handheld blower um, just because it's so easy and compact um, I obviously won't need so much power in the uh, in the summer and the spring months so this will be something I will probably just bring out from sort of September to Christmas and stick with the handheld blower throughout the year just because I don't need the um, I don't need so much power throughout the throughout the summer time, I will be basically cleaning off pathways um, just for any grass clippings. So I will probably stick to the handheld just for the the easiness of getting it in and out of the van. Um, and this will will come out in October, and um, 
get me through the to Christmas. I had someone mention to me once before about why I, when I'm picking up leaves, do I put them from one bag into another bag. Um, if any of you guys have ever used these uh, big, I call them ton bags, the big white bag there, if you've ever, ever used those big builder's bags, they're a real pain to keep open when you're trying to get stuff into them. So I tend to use my Toro bag here, because it's nice and solid, and I can just chuck tons of it in, and then I use it as I go, I'll, I'll just shovel it straight into the Toro bag and then it's easier for me to dump it into the big bag so I can probably get about four or five of the Toro bags into the big ton bag and um, then I can take it down to my compost so when you see me putting it from one bag into another bag it's only because those builders bags are a real real pain to try and keep open and fill up at the same time now you may have noticed a lack of Juno in the last few videos. Um, unfortunately Juno had a little bit of an accident uh, a few weeks ago. She's all okay, but um, she did have an accident which um, re required her to have um, a few stitches, a little operation and a few stitches. So she's had to lay low for a few weeks. Um, I will do an update video on her in the future and um, you'll be seeing her pretty soon I'm sure. But um, as I say, she's all okay, but she just needs to rest. Anyway guys, thanks ever so much for watching today, take care, be good and I will see you next time.